right, guys. This is going to be a rough voiceover. Very rough. So I use my Anastasia brow gel. I think I'm just getting sick and the lunar eclipse is tomorrow. So I'm like all over the place. This was hard to do, but I'm here. I love you guys. So I did my, I used my Abby Roberts palette and I started filling in my eyebrows with the color bro. Bro. I think it's called bro. I'm looking at it right now. It's called bro or something like that. It's the black one. I think I should have used a little bit lighter one, but it was really hard to start off with my eyebrows because I have thick eyebrows already but they're just not as dark you know i have to do my eyebrows too so i also have a hobo oil in my face like i wash my hair i my face is prepped and clean for this and i just have a hobo oil that's it that's literally what i do because i'm gonna wash this off anyways then i have my morphe primer eyelid just with that because i am going to attempt well actually you know what it came out pretty good and i'm pretty proud of myself because let me tell you guys something i have never done a smoky eye this is my first time, and I'm like, oh, you know what? Not bad. So I used the same shade from my eyebrows in the color bra. Eventually, I ended up moving over to the color Booty Guru from the palette. I think it's called, yeah, no, it's called Booty Guru. Definitely Booty Guru. is like a more of like a an ash brownish, and that kind of helped, and I also did the same. I shaded in, blended it out. A lot of blending, a lot of blending. It took me forever forever to make this not so um I just wanted it to blend very nicely and Ovio you guys know I use my little I need to get like a better mirror you know because I want you guys to see watch watch when I have the brand new camera brand new lighting system it's over it's a wrap it's gonna be amazing but you know I'm working with what I have so yes yeah, just a lot of blending and using booty guru and bra at the same time just mixing it back and forth back and forth just a lot of blending i'm gonna clean it out eventually and then just bring it out over to my eyebrow eyebrow bone and then i cut the crease i put concealer the shade i'm using from mac it is a 24-hour studio fix 24-hour smooth concealer the shade i usually use is nc38 and nc40 those are the shades that i usually intertwine back and forth with and then I'm just cleaning up the mess of the eyeshadow. And then I'm using my NYX underliner just to underline my waterline. I'm like, guys, I'm just right now doing this old voiceover. I'm like on my bed. I'm like exhausted. This is just like behind the scenes on how I'm feeling. Just meeting myself where I'm at because I really can't. I wasn't even going to do this but i got i was like no halloween is this weekend i need to do it i need to so i did use the smudge brush just to smudge out the bottom line that's what i used to make it more smudgy then i used the nyx the hd finishing powder just to like brighten the under eyes just the areas where i need brightening especially the apples of my cheeks to make the squiggly not the squiggly the spiral um, red from Jigsaw. Let me tell you guys something. I've never watched any Jigsaw movie. I just know it's gory as F. So I probably most likely will never watch it. I like more of like Michael Myers is more of my fan and Freddy and Jason. Like they're super all gory as well. But Jigsaw, I just don't like. I just don't like it. I don't know. But this was like the most convenient look and easy for anybody to do. Especially if you have curly black hair, any type of black hair, I think it's perfect for. The bronzer I was using just to like start the shadowing was from Fenty and it's Island Thing. Island Thing. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of work just to make myself look more like a puppet, puppeteer, because that's what the I, the jigsaw is. I really, I really, guys, I never watched it. It's so funny. I never watched any of the I'm making one, but it's funny. You know, it's funny because I used to do, I did this look when I was younger in high school. I think it was my... It was my ex's mom, that girl, um, sister, my ex's mom's, um, sister. No, no, my ex's sister. Wait, no, my ex and his sister. She did like my makeup for this and it was super scary. So yeah. So then I, um, bronzed out with the Abby Roberts palette in the shade artistry. And then I used my ink. Tattoo liner from Kat Von D. 
in the color Trooper Black just to outline the the mount the under my chin. Yeah, you it, it, you have to be like super like super precise with this. Then I smudged it out because I do want to have like a shadowing of this with the NYX just to smudge it out. I think it came out really good. I'm like very impressed with myself. Like a very very impressed. Like super 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 than just constantly like blending out. I had a lot of brushes but I just used my beauty blender because my beauty blender is always helping out. Then again I put concealer, my concealer NC40 and I'm debating on which brush to use. Ended up just using this. I was a mess on this too. I get during this video, guys. Also, it was a mess. This video, I got like some terrible news from one of my good friends, and I was just, I was like, I'm gonna voice over this. And it was like 11 o'clock, and I was like, let me make myself feel good and listen to Bad Bunny and Carol G. Like that's what I was doing behind the scenes. So yeah, this was a rough, a rough one. It's because it's just, everybody's crazy. Everybody's chaotic right now because of lunar eclipse. And then I did again. I highlighted the apples of my cheeks with the nyx hd finishing powder just to brighten 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 i just constantly check myself and then constantly blending and blending and blending but yeah the whole time oh my favorite scary but favorite color is from the fancy beauty color uncensored let me tell you stuff this lip this liquid lipstick is makeup proof. I haven't tried it yet, but I will let you know. How do I know it's makeup proof? Because I just use my hand and I just kiss it and nothing ever comes out. Let me tell you, I use this lip liquid lipstick in the shower and it still didn't come off. Then I use the color Beat in MAC just to line the lips. And I also just put it all over my lips. So I really like the color Beat. It came out like really like Maddie and it gave me like the selena um color that i wanted like you know so the baselina and then once again blending blending with artistry in the palette i hey guys i'm a mess i'm a mess i'm trying bear with me bear with me i'm a mess i'm a mess right now bear with me just constantly blending throughout the whole video that's what i was doing and then i used my nexus volumizing foam this stuff made my curls, my hair super volumized. I Nexus sent it to me to try out and I, I'm obsessed. I'm going to use it all the time when I want big volume. And the scary part, I actually ended up using the Beat Liner from MAC just to start out with an outline. It was super, super scary. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let me tell you something. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to a Halloween party. Your makeup's going to end up getting smudged anyways, especially if you're going to make out with a hottie, hottie commodity, hottie commodity. Then I use like a very fine tip brush. This is actually for like nail polish, believe it or not, to, to fill out the spiral in the same color from Uncensored Fenty Beauty. So it was definitely a lot of pressure, but at the end of the time, it ended up coming out like better than I thought it would. I was like, wow, look at that girl. And that is it. Thank you guys for the most chaotic voiceover ever. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing Halloween. Be safe out there. It's a lunar eclipse. Mwah.